They are finally here, people. That's right. The long-awaited Way of Wade 11s have finally come across my desk, and you guys are about to be the first to find out just how bouncy are they. Welcome back to another episode of How High Will It Flip, where we take the footwear that you guys ask and find out just how bouncy are they. Today, we have none other than the highly, highly, highly anticipated release of no other than the Way of Wade 11s. Hey, a baggie. Nice. I think I'm doing this right. Ooh. No free promo. Looky hit, wow. Initial thoughts, it's got like a patent leather outside. The plastic of the design, a little heavy maybe? Oh my goodness, what is the tread like on this? Dude, that is like slick. A lot of response. This is unlike any shoe I have ever seen. Yeah, it is like an Aztec design of the sole. Good call out, Jordan. What the is going on right now? You know, I'm a little shaken up. I have a hard time believing this is gonna have good traction. It's literally like a plastic bottom. A few moments later. Honestly, really good. Oh. I don't know. It's time to find out what are the insoles like in the Wave Weight 11s, because as we remember, the Wave Weight 10s were just a thin piece of foam. I paid $500 for these. Credit card debt is not a joke. <laughs> these do have the carbon fiber base plate, giving them a lot of rebound, unlike most shoes, and like some insoles. So without further ado, I am very excited for this bounce test. As we know, the Wave Weight 10s bounce six feet, six inches. Will we see more of the same from the Wave Weight 11? Can they beat the bounciest shoe that we have ever reviewed? Let's find out. Not too shabby. I'm a little perplexed right now because with very little effort, I cracked the base plate twice. And even so, we still got four feet, nine inches of bounce with no victory insole inside. Now, at first you're like, that's amazing. But then when you compare it to the six feet, six inches of the wave weight 10, you gotta ask yourself, uh-oh, did we take a step back? I'm not too worried because the true test has just begun. This is the Victory Performance insole. It is actually made out of carbon fiber and will not break when you put force into it because it's designed to return energy unlike any other footwear. So the last time we did the bounce review with the Wave Wave 10s, we broke our ceiling. Now in our new and improved content studio, Jordan, please show. It's a lot higher. We have 12 feet of ceiling to work with now. So now it's time for the true test, something we've never seen. And now that I think about it, we should get the Wave Wade 10s back out here to really get a true comparison. But in the meantime, it's time to find out just how bouncy are the Wave Wade 11s with the Victory insole inside. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad. Four feet, nine inches of bounce with no victory insole inside. And then you put the victory insole inside and what do you get? Eight feet of bounce. Now I am never ever going to complain about eight feet of bounce. So with all of that factored in, we have to give the new Way of Wade 11s a bounce score of 9.6 out of 10. That is not too bad. Now you guys did see the traction test. I was noticing some slippage with the left shoe. The right shoe felt amazing. I've seen other videos, other people like the traction, but I don't know, my left shoe was a little slippery. So if any of you have tried the shoes yourselves, test the traction and let us know below what you think. Regardless, it appears Way of Wade has met the hype of yet another shoe because not gonna lie, it's got a real Adidas feel to it, but its own little spin on it. So shout out to Wayne Wade. That's gonna do it for this episode of How High Will Flip. This was a fun one, guys. Thank you as always for tuning in. Let us know in the comments what you wanna see us review next and we'll see you soon.